Hi, Nathan here again with another True Tech troubleshooting tutorial. Today I'd like to cover the basics of signature fields. So in order to do that I have my uh, standard blank form open here. I'm going to drag onto the form a signature field. And when I do so, Adobe gives me a little tips and hints window that pops up that explains uh, the nature of signature fields and what they're designed to do. Feel free to read that at your leisure. Um, I'm going to put my signature field on the form right here, and then I'm also going to put on a text field up above. And I'm going to put uh, a caption in here, just uh, name, just to demonstrate some of the features of signatures. I'm going to set some formatting values to make my signature field look more official. I'm going to choose underline. And I'm going to choose underline on that field too. So what do signature fields do? Well basically they allow the placement of a digital signature much like you would sign a uh, pen and ink form by signing your name to it. And with digital documents and PDFs the digital signature gives you a little bit more security than a pen and ink type signature would because Adobe allows you to set up security to lock the form in other words, make it so it cannot be edited after the signature is made. That's the main feature of signatures. Now there's some other things that can go along with it, but basically that's, that's why it's used. In order to, to have a form that can be filled out and then whoever the form filler is at the end can sign it, thereby locking their answers or their, the data that they put into the form, locking it f uh, against future changes. And so I just want to demonstrate how that works. So here we have just two fields, a signature field and a name field. And if we preview the form, and we type something into the name field, you can see that we have highlight existing fields on, and there's two fields. And so um, I put my name in the, na in the name field, and then when I want to assign the signature field, I click in there, and a sign document dialog box comes up. And so here's a dialog box with my signature on it, my digital signature, and it's not my physical signature, but it has uh, my name and the date I signed it and my email address, things like that. And so when I sign the form, the blue highlight goes away. I can no longer come in here and type anything. If I try to, I get no response. Um, and also you see in Lifecycle, the top bars, or this would be true if you were opening this in Adobe Acrobat, you would see that uh, the signed, this, the document is signed and all signatures are valid. Um, just as a FYI, if you are in a document that requires a signature and you notice that you need to change a field, like maybe you misspelled something or you didn't edit, all the fields have been locked by the signature, you can quickly right click on your signature and clear it. Now this only, if, only applies to you yourself at the time of signing. Once you save the document, and send it to somebody else, they won't be able to clear your signature. If I open up in Adobe Acrobat uh, another form I've signed using another profile, like this one, and I try to right click and clear the signature, I cannot do that. I can only validate the signature. And when you validate the signature, it checks to see if um, anything has been changed since the signature was made, and also. Uh, if the signatures, the signer's identity is someone that is trusted. And what this means is in your security settings in Adobe, is this person trusted or not? So under the trust manager, is this person been verified as a trusted person uh, to my profile? And so if it's not, I can come in here to the certificate viewer and add this person to my trusted identities. It's looked okay. And now when I validate the signature, it says that the signature is valid and the signer is valid. And so in a corporate setting, if you have people who sign documents and send them often, it might be a good thing to trust each other's 
signature so that you know this is the, the signature from your coworker's computer. Anyway, that gets that gets in a lot more detail than I want to go today, but this is what it would look like if that was opened up on another computer. So back to our form. Let's talk about a few details of how we did this. So in the signature field on the object tab, we see that we have the normal things we see on the field tab, but on the signature tab here, we have this special lock fields after signing checkbox. And what this does is allows us to lock the entire form once the document is signed. If we don't have that checked, we cannot lock any of the fields. Uh, if it is checked, we have another option under here in the drop down called manage collection. Basically what this means is if we only only want to lock certain aspects of the form or certain fields in the form, we can do that. Such as we want to have a print button maybe that still works after the form is signed. We don't want to lock that print button down. So for instance, let's go ahead and just drag a print button to the form. All right, and that's the third field, or actually the fifth field on the form. And now we go back, we want to lock the fields after signing, but we don't want to lock them all. We just want to lock some of them. We have to create a collection of fields and include only the fields that we want locked. And so we don't want to lock the entire form, such as doing that. But in the hierarchy, we can select everything except the print button one. And when we do that and close, we say only the fields in the collection called locked are going to get locked. So that when we preview the form, type in our name, sign the form, fields are all locked. I can't can't type anything into, into the, the name field. But I can still hit the print button, and that brings up the print dialog box. So, very quickly, uh, signature fields are very advantageous, especially if you have if you're going to use Adobe Lifecycle and Adobe Acrobat to send sensitive documents to customers or people inside your enterprise or corporation. Uh, it's a way to assure that changes have not been made and that data is intact and it basically acts as a real signature acts, verifying that the person who submitted the data is who they say they are and actually did it. As always, you can submit any questions you have about signature fields or other Adobe Lifecycle topics. And remember, as always, IT problems are usually simple, but they're never easy. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.